Major League Soccer's hottest team continues with the fireworks. An explosive opening 45 minutes inside Bank of California Stadium as they lead the impact of Montreal. Three and nothing, your scoreline. Uh, yeah, you recognize his face right here. Just, just a couple of San Diego State Aztecs hanging out here on the set here on YouTube TV. Happy to have you along. Mark Rogandino and, of course, LAFC Zone, Stephen Betashore. Uh, Beta, bet the viewers, the first question they want to know. We'd love to see you out there. I know you want to be out there, but thank you for stopping by. How's the hammy feel? Well, thanks for having me. Uh, you got it. I'd much prefer to be down there in my uniform, but uh, yeah, hammy's feeling good. Uh, obviously couldn't go tonight. Uh, hopefully uh, soon we're, we're getting better, that's for sure. Uh, what would you make of the opening 45 minutes? Because I feel like we've seen this, this glimpse of LAFC a lot of times this season. When you guys are firing on all cylinders, there really is no team in the league, I feel like, that is going to keep up with the black and gold. Yeah, I think it's been a great first 45. Uh, we've dominated from start to finish. Uh, obviously, getting that first goal really helps. Um, it's one of those things where we get that first goal, it really opens them up. And you can see that with the second goal. Edward plays a great ball to, to Carlos. He does what he does, finishes. And then the third goal, which was a uh, pretty good build-up play from, from defense to attack, which, uh, yeah, you love to see. Hey, it's one thing for you to describe it, but let's go ahead and take the fans through. In case you missed any of it, you missed a lot in the opening 45 minutes of action here inside Bank of California Stadium. Let's hop into the highlights. You and I were talking before we just came on camera. Christian Ramirez. Oh, this was great, too. The TIFO oh, here raised up. Awesome. We will rock you, little Freddie, so cool. Freddie Mercury. Let's go to our McDonald's player highlight to get things going. Great for Christian Ramirez to get one. His third of the season. Yeah. Uh, hey, it doesn't matter how you get him. They just ask how many you score at the as end of the season. As they go in. Exactly. What's Evan Bush doing here? Uh, I, don't, I don't think he thought he was running that hard. He thought he had more time, clearly, and uh, Christian's worked really hard the past couple weeks, couldn't find a goal, and fortunately tonight, it was a little bit of a gift. So third of the season makes it one nothing, and then a beautiful ball from Atuesta right there. Yeah. I mean, playing with a guy like Vela, I know that's tremendous, but when you have guys like Mark Anthony Kay and Edward Atuesta playing in front of you, yeah. I mean, these young players are just blossoming before our eyes. Yeah, it's a great through ball, great run, something we work on training all the time. Uh, speaking of a guy who the fans love to get the ball into the back of the net. Latif Blessing is that guy. He finally gets his first of 2019. It's the ninth of his career. Yep. Pull the curtain back for a moment and tell me about this guy because his energy is incredible. Oh. He's a spark plug. Everyone loves him on the team. He's just always happy, always smiling. Um, he doesn't talk much, but when you get him going, you can't get him to stop. So we love his smile. It's infectious, and obviously his play is amazing. Or when you get him dancing, he doesn't stop he either. He loves to dance. Here's the numbers from the <laughs> opening 45 minutes. Uh, look at this domination from the black and gold. Ten shots to just four for Montreal, including an eight to one advantage with shots on goal. Yep. That possession continues to be in favor of LAFC. And I, and I feel like that is something that is a trend for this team. Yep. Always having advantage in possession. It doesn't always translate in the world of football oh, to chances true. and to winning games, but it seems to for this LAFC club. Yeah, uh, it's obviously something that we work on. Uh, Bob wants us to have the ball. He wants us to give width, with which I think We've done well in the first half, um, whether it's Carlos Diego or whether it's Jordan or Tristan in this case. Right. So uh, I think we've done that well, and hopefully we can continue in the second half. Beta and Rogo hanging with you here on YouTube TV. Halftime with LAFC leading 3 nothing. Complete domination, but as we know, a solid opening 45 minutes. A victory does not make. Yeah, the fans are having a pretty good time tonight on Pride Night here at the bank as well. More to come on the other side. We'll bring you back here to the south end. Mark Rogandino, Stephen Betashore back here with you on YouTube TV. I know he's not in action tonight. He will be back really, really soon. Or at least we're all hoping for that. But it's good to have him here uh, on the YouTube TV set. And he will be with us on the postgame show for a little bit as well. Let's go to the Pizza Hut news and scoreboard as we take a look around Major League Soccer. You keep an eye on the scoreboard from time to time? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I was able to today because I wasn't <laughs> dressing, but usually I stay focused for the game. Two other games in action tonight. The Galaxy finally snapped that losing streak. They get a win. Jonah Dos Santos with the game winner down in Orlando. And Real Salt Lake scored first. Atlanta got back in the mix, but a 2-1 final out at Rio Tinto Stadium. Of course, a whole host of games going on 
on tomorrow as part of week 13 in Major League Soccer. Philadelphia, Portland, a good one. Gosh, Portland have had their struggles, Beta, trying to win on the road. Yeah, I know you guys had six games on the road uh, to, to start last season, but yeah. God, that is tough. Uh, speaking of Portland, Saturday, June the 1st, they will finally be back at home when they face off against the black and gold. Would you call it a rivalry as an LAFC player? It seems to be like a growing rivalry. I think it is genuine rivalry. I don't think it's uh, made up by anybody. Uh, you see it on the field. Genuinely dislike those guys. I mean, they got some great talent. We had re what, three really good battles with them last yeah. year. Uh, and obviously, that's going to make for a great matchup. Yeah. Uh, that the next game, Saturday, June the 1st, for LAFC before you guys get a really long bit of rest, which I'm sure not just for you, but all these guys is going to be really, really well welcomed. Yeah, I think the guys are looking forward to it. Uh, but got to finish off these two games. Obviously, this game's going well. And then Portland, and then we can look forward to that. Speaking, of, finish, speaking of finishing it off, there's still 45 minutes to go. Steven and I will get Get you ready for it when we come back on the other side. It is 3 0 with LAFC out in front. Three different goal scorers so far in the first half as well Christian Ramirez, Carlos Vela, and Latif Leslie. Back on the other side on YouTube TV as we welcome you back inside the bank. Friday night under the lights here. Stephen Betashore, LAFC defender, joining me here on the set. He will also be with us as part of our post game coverage. Mark Rogandino back here with you. Uh, Stephen, time to check in with the guys upstairs calling this one. Of course, I'm I'm talking about Christopher Sullivan and Max Bredos. Uh, Max, I didn't know if you, you got the memo. Uh, this is an Aztec party here tonight. We got three Aztecs. That's right. On, on the coverage here tonight, so uh, a lot going well for SDSU and uh, LAFC and, and San Jose. Two San Jose boys as well. Boys. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. That's right. Can I be included here at all? At all? <laughs> By the way, Beta, I told you when I saw you yesterday, I was wearing the blue suit, and you said you were going to shave. I want to be just like you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, Max, I think I think you're in the majority here. There's probably about 22,000 that want to be just like Beta, right? A chance yes. to play professional side. Look at this guy in this suit right here. I thought I was looking good tonight. And I, this guy comes out. I'm like, oh, my goodness. What am I going to do? I know. I know. Look, his whole life ahead of him. He's doing. He's got a podcast. He's doing great. But what a great night here, Friday night. And uh, Suli, this was just, I, look, LAFC score early. And I saw some of the, the higher-ups here in the hallway, and they're not satisfied. They're thinking of the misses there. It just yeah. goes to show what they're able to create. Absolutely. They could still play better. You yeah, know what I mean? It's one, it's one thing. We'll get Christopher Sullivan's thoughts in just a moment. But let's quickly go downstairs to Javrina with head coach Bob 